and welcome to Grandad Reviews. this video I'm going to look at something I've wanted to get for quite a while uh, when we go out and photograph um, the little owls and hopefully soon uh, badgers and maybe foxes I've always wanted to get, have a go at using a remote trigger to capture them so I've been looking at laser triggers and eventually I've decided on one and this, that is the Versa trigger laser trap made in Britain so I thought what we do is have a quick overview of the unit what comes with it how it works and I'll show you how I'm thinking of setting it up and then when we do get out to take some shots uh, in the wild we'll see how it uh, performs so let's have a look at what you get in the box and now I'm setting it up. Right, so these are the uh, parts you get in the kit. So you get the main unit here. Uh, it's got a delay and it's also the on off. It runs off a 9 volt battery in the back. So that's the main unit. You then get a laser and a receiver. And these little stick-on pads here that you can use for mounting with cable ties. Um, that's the only thing, mounting options are a little bit limited, obviously with that. But what I've done is I stuck a Velcro pad on there. I've got one of these quarter twenty threaded adapters. So I can just Plug that on there. Plug that on there, then I can screw that straight onto a tripod and I'll show you how I've got that set up when we set it up. Ordered a cable for my Fuji, so that goes from the output to the camera. And because I want to use this remotely, I also ordered another cable, which is just the output to 3.5 plug there and I'll show you how that's set up and how I'm going to use it so let me plug these in and set it up and I'll show you how it works right so as you can see this is how I've got it set up so here's the control box switched on we've got the laser which is here plugged into the laser socket the sensor which is here plugged into there Got the laser lined up with that now I'm going to use this remotely so what I've got is I've got the cactus trigger here the output from the unit is going to that as a transmitter and over this side I've got the receiver which is going to my Fuji camera now I could have just used the cable if it was in reasonable distance but I want to be further away so I'm going to do this remotely. I've got this camera set on manual focus, so I'll be focusing on the beam. And when something comes through, it'll fire it. And what's good about this trigger over others, when the laser is tri tripped, the actual laser beam switches off, so we don't get the red dot. So if you see, there's no red dot. You can see the red dot there now. But when it fires, there's no red dot. There you can see the red dot. But when I fire it, no red dot. And it comes on a second later. Also in the unit, it actually triggers for one second. So if we put the camera on continuous high, so on 12 frames a second, when the trigger fires, it will take a load of images, so I've got more chance. I've also done a quick test, putting it in continuous autofocus, and walked through the, the actual laser, walked towards the camera, and the autofocus has actually followed me, so I'm going to try that a bit more. So that's how I've got it set up 
initially. So fully remote, attach the triggers where the animal is going to walk through. The animal is going to walk, walk, fire. What we will do is work out what the delay is from when the trigger is fired to how far forward it's going to be. That's something we're going to have to set up and uh, when we get out there. But the actual build quality, yeah, is excellent. Everything's nicely built. You've got what you need, nothing extra fancy you don't need. We can delay the trigger. So I believe it's 150 milliseconds. So it's not instant down to basically just the sh your shutter lag and that's say what we've got to work out what the shutter lag is from when the, the beam's triggered as far as i can tell main unit isn't waterproof obviously all these connectors so i'm going to put it in a box so it's sealed these look waterproof uh, sealed down they should be fine and let's say we'll get out and try it and we'll try it with the uh, receivers and the transmitters and see how it works all right so that's my first very quick look at the versa trigger laser trap i say when i get out and use it for real we'll i'll do another bit of a review and uh, tell you what it that's how it worked and if it did the job i want it to do but for the time being that's my just my first look so, very good build quality, got what you need, there's no extra things that you don't need, no menus to go through, very simple, so it should be very reliable. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, if you didn't, give it a thumbs down, hit that like button to help the channel, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this, and until next time, see you later.